Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Rome 2 Siege action. We have a 4v4 for you here at, uh, well, I don't remember the name of the settlement, but it goes by many names, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, this one has been sent in to us by Emperor Candy Katsu. Uh, this is the New World mod, uh, adds a bunch of new units, new factions. Um, I'm positively sure that it is constantly being updated and worked on. Uh, so, you know, new new units and new unit skins and stuff, so, I mean, a lot of these guys look really, really cool. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it is one man working on all... Look at that shield. That shield's a freaking dope, dude. It looks so good. Damn, all these shields look really good. Uh, yeah, so it's one guy working on this. It's crazy. I believe his name, uh, his handle is Genesis. Um, but yeah, so this one has been sent into us by Emperor Kenikatsu. I'm pretty sure I said that. I just said it again. And uh, as always, let us go over the players on the field of battle. Quickly go over army comps, at least those of what we can see. And then we'll get right into it. So, uh, we'll start with the defenders since we can't see them at all. Uh, defending, we have Joe Honored himself playing as Talmaic Egypt. Uh, Darsman playing as Gete, Canadian Goose playing as Etoria, and Inores playing as the Norse Expedition. I believe that the Norse Expedition has been a, is a, a new faction that was added recently. Attacking, we have Emperor Candy Katsu playing as Knossos, or Knossos, Knossos, however you decide to say it. Gorm Molnir playing as the Samnites, uh, Armored Scarab playing as Abdani, and Dagger playing as Amazonia. So. Uh, we'll start, I guess we'll start over here. Uh, we'll start over here. We'll start with these guys right over here. This is the, I believe these, this is the Abdani, right? Let me, yes, Abdani, uh, they are on both sides. We'll actually get over here since some of their men are over here along with their general. So right along over here, we have, what is that? Six units of wood runners. Uh, looks like they're kind of, uh, Sort of a throwaway unit, but they're still pretty nasty. I mean, a melee attack's 19, not great. Weapon damage is 40, however. And the melee defense is 52 and then 45 for armor. Uh, morale's 40. Uh, AP damage is 4. Shield armor's 35. Let's take a look at them real quick. Pretty cool looking. Definitely dig uh, the round shields. Uh, yeah, I guess... Do these have guerrilla deployment? It, it does appear that way. Let me take a look. Stalk and yes, guerrilla deployment. Interesting. I mean, the the 19 melee attack ain't great unless it's like um, uh, divided in para, where the numbers the, the 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 numbers for the stats are like different. Uh, but I don't think it is. Uh, let's see. So he has some Fianna over here. Uh, Fianna General. Do they also get Gorilla? No, they don't. Uh, and more Fianna. So very heavy melee infantry. Let's see if we can actually get a look at these guys. Pretty cool. Nice shields. Cool armor. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, uh, swing way back on over here. We'll take a look at the rest of his army. Two units of tribal warriors. These guys uh, truly are throwaway. I mean, look at that. Melee defense is five. Armor is zero. Uh, weapon damage isn't too bad, though. 34. Uh, and then we have some ambushers way back on over here. 32, 25. 65 melee defense. Pretty good. 10 armor, though. But, I mean, they are ambushers, so definitely meant to catch people out in the open. And then Ebdani Raiders right here. Do they all have stock and, and guerrilla deployment? It does appear that way, except for the tribalist warriors and the uh, Fianna over there. Pretty interesting. They're like the, um, uh, what's that faction, the Rise of the Republic? They start out on an island. I forget the name of them. All right, moving on over, we have the Amazonians, uh, elite shield maidens. Uh, or elite, yeah, elite shield maidens. Uh, back line of... Oh, we didn't see any archers from these guys, did we? Do they have any archers in them? Before I continue on, I know I'm getting sidetracked. It happens a lot, doesn't it? Uh, okay. So I guess they don't. Bold. Very bold. Uh, Amazonian heavy archers. Let's take a look at these guys, or, or gals, rather. Uh, 40 and 150 missile damage and range, so not bad. And then uh, in melee, not terrific. Armor, armor's not bad. 35 is pretty good. 
uh, back line, what we got here, shield maidens, shield maidens, and men of, of Amazonia. Uh, it's a little ironic, I guess. A uh, uh, man general uh, commanding Amazonian. Shield maidens, shield maidens. Uh, and then up on the towers, we have Amazonian infantry across the board. Let's see, 30, 34. They are double as all of them. Yeah, all of them are uh, double bronze chevrons. So 30, 34, 48, and 47 for the base morale. Melee defense. Armor's not bad either, 55. So I guess a, a little bit of a tanky unit, right? Not much for uh, DPM, but still. If you want to talk that way, DPM. Uh, and then we have uh, Samnites right on over here. And where's their general? Here we go. Italian noble cap. Take a look. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it's the uh, 70. Wow, 79 melee attack. Good lord. 41 we weapon damage. What's the melee defense? 30. Okay, so that, that nerfs them a little bit. That's 79. I mean, imagine if they had a, a higher melee defense rating. These guys would be unstoppable. Uh, charge bonus, 33. Not terrible. Melee defense, 30. Armor's 90. These guys are like... I mean, 90 armor? They're like Samnite warriors on horseback, minus the, uh, the melee attack. Uh, and then continuing on, we have some Italian slingers. Is that all that he's brought? That might be all that he can bring, actually. Uh, we have a big old ballista. Big old ballista. No, no, no. We have a tiny ballista. Gnosis has the big ballista. Samnite warriors right on over here. Love to see him. Uh, 36, 34. Armor 75. So they got a little bit of a nerf. Uh, honestly, they kind of deserved it. They were They're kind of an OP unit. Uh, in my opinion, Sam Knight Light Infantry, 39, 35, uh, 45, 35, not bad, not bad. Sam Knight Warriors, Sam Knight Warriors, what do we got up here on the towers here? We have some Sam Knight Hillmen, uh, Lucanian Warriors, 49, 35, 65, and 95, sheesh, my god. Sam Knight Light Infantry, uh... Uh, ooh, I'm gonna try and enunciate this. Uh, let's see. Here, here, Pinion, here, Pinion warriors. Uh, it's the 44, 35, uh, 35 charge bonus. Not bad. 35 melee defense and 45 armor. Pretty cool. Uh, Sam Knight light infantry, light infantry, Sam Knight silver infantry one, heavy melee infantry. 44, 35, uh, 51 and 75. Nice. Not bad. Let's take a look at these guys real quick, actually. We are... Where? Where are they? They're right here, right? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> we may not be able to get a good look at them, actually. Uh, now that I think of it. Uh, is anyone turned around? No. They look pretty cool from the back, at least. All right. And then some more Sam Knight Hillman. And then last but not least, Nosos. Uh, spread out all over the place along with his uh, Ebdani ally here. Uh, Cretan infantry. We have some uh, Cretan hoplites, thorax hoplites that are triple bronze chevroned up. Seventy-three melee defense. Damn. Uh, some more Cretan infantry, Cretan hoplites, big old ballista, thorax hoplites. Back line way over here in the uh, trees. Thorax hoplites. I think he has a yeah. He has a bunch of thorax hoplites. Uh, thorax hoplites. Cretan. Uh, Cretan. Toxoc. Toxocities? Toxities? Toxities. Toxocities. Toxocities? I don't know. They're the archers. Uh, 40, 150 range. Not bad. They're kind of like regular Cretan archers. Uh, what do they get? They get quick, quick reload? They do get quick reload. Cool, cool. Uh, and then, yeah, just Cretan infantry and Thorax hoplites. Hoplites at the wazoo. Uh, and that's about the long sort of it. 60 minutes and 2 seconds on the clock. Uh, so yeah, let's get this one underway. <clears throat> so... Siege Tower is moving forward. We have the Tribal Warriors going to move on forward. I guess they're going to... Yeah, they're getting ready to get into the Siege Towers over here. Uh, I mean, bold move for splitting your forces in two. 
It could work out. It could not. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, Germanic Bastion Blissa. I think this is the Norse Expeditionary Force. Looks like it. What's their, oh, their uh, emblem's pretty cool. Big shot. Where is it going? Into the trees? Yeah, it looks like it might be going into the trees. He's taking some pot shots, hoping to find. Oh, we got a sally out. Sally out from some spears. Looks like they're just here to hold up the. Well, there isn't any over here, is there, really? No siege equipment. Did you forget siege equipment? Did no so. No so. Did you forget siege equipment? It's okay if you did. Let's see. We've got some Dacian heavy bowmen. Uh. Ooh. We got some units over here. What? Was, what? Oh, they're burning down the tower. Interesting. Viking raiders. Wow, look at these guys. Can I get a level shot here? Viking raiders are pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Very cool. Oh, no. Yeah, these guys are gone. They didn't even get to throw anything up here. So, they're done for. Oh, that's rough. They might come back though. 92 guys. They, they could possibly come back. I hope they come back. <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean, he's trying, but it's just now he's going to get the tower up there. Yeah, that's your best. I mean, I don't know why he didn't get in the tower beforehand. Unless, of course, it just glitched out, which, you know, is not uh, out of the realm of possibilities knowing this game. Way over here. Ooh, we had a Sally out. Side chariots down to nine men. Only three kills. No, these guys are getting eviscerated. If he's lucky, he'll be able to get them out of... I mean, they're routing, so it's not like he has any control over them. They should come back. Hopefully. I mean, he is really close to the red line right here. And as I said, I think it was the last video or the video before. Once you get to, like, right about here, your, your unit's gone. Oh, they came back. But he's getting chased down. He needs to, to boogie. He's got to boogie on out of here or he's done for. But this is potentially a lot of jabbies over here that could be coming his way. Uh, and he doesn't even know that he's walking into it. And I managed to see one. Disappeared into the mist. And uh, yeah, they're just going to envelop this chariot unit. And they're done. I don't think that they're going to make it. They're trying to go for the char. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, these woodrunners just said no. <laughs> and shut them down. Man, all right. Sam, uh, Samnium moving forward. Uh, looks like they took on the spears from uh, Gete, and either they retreated back inside or they actually managed to just get rid of the spear. Yeah, looks like they actually managed to get rid of the spears. So now they're going to move unfettered. These guys are moving forward. I don't think they can burn. <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> this poor soul. This poor, poor man. My God! I <laughs> uh, guess who forgot to change his keybind once again? Woo, I did. Holy shit! Okay, now we can start to see some more of the attack or the defenders, rather. What do we have here? Egyptian levy, Egyptian levy. I don't think these guys are going to fare very well against these Amazonian infantry. I mean, 30, 34, 48, and 55, 14, 24, 39, 55. Yeah, no. Definitely not. They're going to get their jabbies off. I don't know why. I mean, Amazon should just be charging right on into the side. Unless he's just absolutely trying to get around uh, into the back. But, I mean, these Amazon infantry is going up against two Italian swords. Or one Italian swords and then one reservists spear unit. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like they're, they're going to have a little bit of a tough time here. Am yeah, Amazon definitely needs to get the shield maidens up here to charge right on into the side of these units if he's going to have any hope of saving these. Uh, and again, I mean, these guys here, they're taking fire. I don't know why he's not just coming off the uh, off the walls and going in after these Egyptian levies. Uh, love the smaller shields, though, from the Egyptian levies and, and the uh, traditional, um, I don't know, headstone shields, we call them that, I guess. 
Very cool. Uh, ooh, no. There goes another a unit. 24 kills only. Jeez, Christ. 63 for the uh, Italian swords. Samnium moving on up. And uh, I don't know what they're doing here. If he's careful, his towers are going to get glitched out on top of each other. And he's... Oh, I see. Okay. I see you. He moved... Uh, all right. So, a, a dangerous move, but a, a bold one nonetheless. He moved up his towers along with his ballista so that he could get the ballista right point blank and just start guaranteed no misses. I, I love that. But again, it, you run the risk of glitching the towers and then what's going to happen is your guys won't be able to get off and they're going to be stuck on there because the, the towers are like glitched on top of each other. Alright, Toria not having uh, the greatest of times so far. Reservists and Italian swordsmen <clears throat> routing over here on this uh, corner of the battlefield. Looks like they, are they out of ammo already? He's out of ammo already. He only has 15 kills. Wow. So now archers are up here. Do these guys have bows? I feel like these guys have bows. No. Uh, I know Nosos does get uh, a spear unit or some infantry unit that has bows along with uh, spears or swords. But Amazonian heavy archers going to town, getting nice side shots off on the uh, Truscan uh, units over here. Truscan manipulator infantry. Let's take a look at these guys. Very cool looking. It looks like they're kind of surrounded too, doesn't it? Yeah, they are. These shield maidens have managed to wrap around a wee bit. 47, 35, 53, and 75 for the Etruscan manipulator infantry. Uh, but I think... Oh, no, they're losing. Ooh, they're losing 34, 34, 62, and 75. But yeah, the uh, melee attack and weapon damage is definitely playing in the favor of Vittoria. Over here, however, they are definitely having a little bit of more of a difficult time. And oh, they're back over here. They're trying to burn this down. Luckily, uh, the Viking Raiders from the North Expeditionists aren't mounting the walls to throw some jabbies at these guys. So that's definitely working in their benefit. And, uh, you know, they're doing a delayed attack here, which, hey, look, I've said it before, it can work. If you do it right, it can definitely absolutely work, but can also backfire miraculously on you if you are not careful. Sika Warriors, uh, Sika Warriors, Stacy and Heavy Bowman, Sika. What do we have here? Falksman and Sika Warriors. The breach has been made. Now it looks like they're just uh, trying to burn down this tower. 98 fire damage, so all they really need is one more throw of either uh, torches or one shot from the ballista, and they'll be able to not or burn that down, rather. Uh, Sika Warriors blocking this pathway here. And we're going to have some uh, Samnite Light Infantry looks like they're going to be the first ones in either that or they are going to try and burn down the rest of this tower. Honestly, would it be a bad idea as uh, if you let this tower burn and actually collapse? It probably, uh, they are close enough, so it probably would damage these Sika Warriors. <clears throat> Meanwhile, over here, it looks like Amazonia is actually having a pretty tough time against Centoria. I mean, uh, I mean, the... Manipular infantry, they are losing, but they seem to have been a pretty good counter against the Shield Maidens. They did manage to actually win over here, uh, but they did, of course, take some heavy losses, uh, it appears. But they managed to uh, fight off Amazonia, at least in this corner. Uh, but now he's kind of stuck here. He can't... Oh, no, he's throwing jabbies at this unit. Well, they are. They're coming over here. But even still... Uh, but now they're, they're kind of stuck here. They can't they can't afford to go and, and finish these units off as much as I'm sure that they would like to. Because if they go and charge these guys into the rear, obviously then uh, either Nosos or Amazonia will mount the towers, I mean, as they are doing right now. And they'll just counter charge into the back of Etoria. Oh. Man, Italian Noble Cav is moving up. Are they going to actually charge in? That's going to be the question. Falksman charging back in. Looks like they were getting 
harassed pretty heavily by archers. No surprise either. I mean, their armor is 10. They are magnets for any type of projectile that you can throw at them. Seeker Warriors not doing too great, actually, against the Samite Warriors and the uh, Samite Light. Wow, Samite Light Infantry up to 179 kills. That is fantastic. Uh, took a big shot, though, from these Seeker Warriors. They are throwing their jabbies. And uh, Samite Light Infantry looks like they're going to divert around and charge on right in. Or no, rather it's the one that's coming off the tower here. Really hope that he didn't school himself here, though. And uh, it does look like these towers are glitched, so hopefully they aren't uh, totally screwed. See some more of Egypt's units. We have some Thorax swords. Uh, what do we have over here? Thorax, Thorax. We have some Galatian swordsmen. Did they get Galatian swords? Yeah, they did. Uh, and then what do we have over here? Galatian swords, Egyptian levy. Yeah, Amazonia is not doing great. They're also, their archers are getting shot up by the tower over here, too. <clears throat> Looks like Nosos is set up over here just to, uh, in case if anyone decides to sally out. So they managed to burn down the tower over here. They did. Now they're going to land this tower, siege tower over here. Uh, I mean, hopefully he starts to move up his men so he can get them onto the towers and land them. I think now more than ever, it's time for him to start moving forward. And that actually looks like what he's doing over here. Woodrunners coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> uh, looks like they're actually going to burn down the towers here. I guess it's not a bad idea. And then hopefully he'll get up on the siege towers themselves and start to land. Uh, you can see the Dacian swords. Uh, Dacian swords. Dacian... Or Holy crap, Gete's General is what I meant to say, <laughs> the Noble Swords. Uh, what do we have here? Etruscan Archers, uh, what are their stats like? I can't tell, because they just disappeared into the mist, never mind. So, big fight going on over here, Nosos charging on in with his Cretan Infantry, backing up, oh, Slingers doing Slinger things. You can always trust Slingers to do something silly. <clears throat> Sand Knight Warriors, though, they are losing against the Seeker Warriors. I mean, let's compare real quick. We have 36, 34. Melee defense is 45. Armor 75. 36, 35. 50 and 65. So they have the armor. Sand Knight Warriors have the armor. Uh, but they don't have the weapon damage. Nor do they have the melee defense. So I guess it's no surprise. Um... And unfortunately, there's no gaps to be exploited here, really. So they're just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Fire on the enemy. I mean, I'm assuming that the Ballista probably still does have ammo. But, yeah, you're definitely not going to want to roll this up here to try and start firing on him. Truscan Archers, here we go. 35, oh yeah, they're, they're dog shit. 35, 125 range. Not good. And yeah, Amazonia is just having absolutely such a difficult time. Are they out of ammo? 132 kills, so yeah, they are. Egyptian Levy not doing too great either. Knossos', uh, Knossos Cretan Infantry doing a hell of a job. They're about to get rear charged, though. He turned right around to counter charge, and now we can see some of these uh, Norse Expeditionary units. Uh, we have some Viking Berserkers here charging in. 52, 26, 60, and uh, 61 melee defense. So, yeah, they'll probably do pretty good against the Koreans here. Follow me at speed. Quick march. Over here, it looks like uh, maybe he was waiting. Before he was just waiting. Truscan heavy hop lights. Heavy hop lights. Trusting cohort. Pretty cool looking. Very cool, very cool. What do we have here? Sword Herdman. Take a look. Don't disappear, let me look at you. Bastards. There we go. 32, 40, uh, 59 melee defense, 60 armor. Not bad. Not bad. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, in the halls of justice. Ooh. That's cool. I like that the emblem has changed for when they go berserk. Uh, but they are getting shot in the back by Amazon's archers, so not a bad deal there. This is going to be a grind fest, isn't it? Over here, he's going to start to capture this. They might actually, I mean, they're going to suffer some serious losses. Uh, hopefully he manages. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. I mean, he could have put them back on the wall, and then they might have been out of, out of, they're gone. They're going to be gone any second now. They're going to leave. Come on, cap it. No! So close. So close. Oh, damn it, dude. At least it's been, at least it's neutralized. I uh, get more guys up here. Cap this. Cap this, because then they might be within range of every. Ah, oh, damn, dude. I don't think they can go back in through the gate either. The gate's not destroyed, is it? The gate is destroyed. So they could. You could literally just sit. I'm like, no joke. You could just sit right in here, and you won't get shot. I mean, I don't think that's 125 range. He can just sit right, he's capping it right there. Don't go in any further. Stop, stop, stop. I mean, he is getting the archers to waste their ammo, but still. You know? All right, so he's gonna, he's gonna recap this. If he's lucky, it, they'll wait, they will be within range of these towers and they'll start machine gunning away if he's a trust and heavy hoplite, so that should be beneficial. They are starting, I mean, this dude's just taking the bait at this point. I mean, he's firing at us severely. I understand he doesn't want them to cap this, but... Looks like they do have the range, actually. Okay, good to know. Meanwhile, over here, slow going. Ooh, big shots coming in. Oh, my God. Yeah, going right for that general. Can't really blame him. Big shots coming from Knossos. Uh, Knossos, Knossos. However, look, it's however you want to say it, you know? Whatever the flavor of the week is. Uh, honestly, though, I think, I mean, now would be the time to, to press in, right? I mean, Amazon's, uh, fight, no, oh, why are you shifting completely? Amazon, I would, I would leave, I would stay here. Amazon should stay here and not move, right? Uh, and I think that at least some of Vittoria's units, along with some of Gnosos' units, could probably either just come right around like this or get on these towers and mount the wall uh, but I, I think while they're here grinding away I, I I think they should send some units over here because they're, they're gonna get flanked any second now there we go we got some sandlight silver oh we can look at these guys silver infantrymen coming on over here they look pretty cool uh, so hopefully they will be able to hold the line over here uh, but even still, I mean, they should be, you know, come over here, come over here, spread out a little bit. You have so many guys bunched up over here that you should... <laughs> they came back to take it. Yeah, this is tough, man. Very tough. Slow but steady going over here in the corner. Not a bad move by uh, Atoria to knock down this wall, and then they can just mass an attack and, and plow right on through here. The only thing that I am worried about, again, is 
They're not sending anybody over this way. They're not covering their backs. I mean, they are. There's two units over here. But Amazonia is pretty much done for. He does have a couple units left. Nosos has some units over here as well. But real, in, in reality, I think that... Uh, have, have I been calling uh, Sam Knight Victoria? Anyway. Uh, Etoria and Daisy, I think, Daisy Gete can, can manage to hold off over here. And then can send extra units over this way to, to counter. But here we go. They are pouring in now. They are going to come over here and hopefully take this route. And if they're lucky, it will cause the defenders to have to pull units away from this area <clears throat> and bring them over here. And when that happens, hopefully they will, they'll be able to punch a hole through this defense and uh, really put some pressure on the defenders. But we'll just have to wait and see now, won't we? Um, and it does appear that they are, the defenders are pulling That's back at least some of their mind. ranged units. Uh, but I still think it's, it's a little too early for Samnium to bring in their ballista unit just yet. Uh, luckily, they did capture this tower, so that is helping them out quite a bit. Sword Herdman going in. Uh, and Samnium's really going hard over here. Warriors and Sword Herdsmen take it on two units of Sandlight Warriors and Sandlight Light Infantry. And these Light Infantry are pretty badass, actually. We saw that before. I mean, 15 charge bonus isn't great, but all their other stats aren't too bad. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Adani is just... I mean, finally he's moving. This might have been actually a really good play in the long run to just wait. I mean... They had men over here, he had some units over there, so it's really kind of, at this point, for the defenders, a guessing game of where is this guy going to pop up? And uh, because they have stalk, they stay hidden up until the very last minute. So the defenders aren't going to know that they're up here until they're getting on the towers and mounting the walls. So it should be interesting to see what type of defense they're going to have to deal with over here, uh, how much of the Norse expedition uh, faction has been committed to this attack, this assault over here. Uh, honestly, I mean, this could potentially be the, the undoing of the, of the defense here. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Donnie's moving back around. They've given up over here. I can't really blame them. I mean, this is a tough spot to actually assault and, and take. I mean, you can get shot at with arch from archers and the tower that's up here as well. Uh, and then it's just, you know, it's just one big massive choke point. How are you supposed to get through there and without pulling through and cheating? You, you can't. It's a tough nut to crack. Now they are capturing the gates. That's Can't really blame me. them. They don't want to get shot in the back. Small victories. All that cool stuff. Oh no. Oh, all right, 251 kills. So that's not too bad. Uh, I thought they, they got completely caught out. I mean, they did kind of, but uh, they put in their due diligence and now they're just going to get slaughtered. Uh, Thorax Swordsmen are here. 18 kills. I guess they don't have any more jabbies left, which is good because these Thorax Hoplites from Nosos are facing the wrong direction. Uh, and now it just looks like we have a mass push to go this way. Norse Expedition coming in hard over here, too. Managed to start to route these Sam Knight Light Infantrymen. Uh, but they're gonna come back. They are winning. Noble Swords. We have some Egyptian Levy. They're throwing their jabbies over here. Oh, I see some defenders over here. What do we got? Viking Raiders. These guys again. 89 kills. Why are they debuffed? Why are they debuffed? Interesting. Right, Adani's going to start to get on the walls. I mean, look at this. These guys are still hidden. And they just have this unit over here that they can see, obviously, because they got on the towers. But still love to see what happens. I mean, we don't see anything else here. Keep in mind, these guys, it looks like they do have stalk and real deployment, so they also will stay hidden up until the last moment. They're going to come over here and start to capture this tower. Not a bad idea. And still back over here, we see some of the archers moving around. Uh, 
mean, hopefully most of these guys are out of ammo. 57, 73, 0. They still have ammo, but they have shit range. Uh, slingers are on the inside. Stop. They are firing. Haven't gotten too many kills yet, but they are slingers. I mean, keep in mind, they work better when you can get a good angle on them, firing into the sides of the backs of units, uh, head head on, uh, them firing their little lead bullets, not the best effect. Uh, which, I mean, historically is bullshit, because um, they're extremely deadly. That's actually what I would like to see. Give me a mod where slingers actually get the respect they are owed. Look at this. They're all in here. I mean, the Fianna, uh, Fianna units, they're pretty serious. These guys might be able to punch a hole through where they need it. It might be a good counter against uh, the Norse expedition. Again, though, they're just letting this happen over here. I would. Uh, I, I don't know what I would do. Right, does he? I guess maybe he does not notice that this is going on over here. Neutralize. Oh, smart. Neutralize the tower instead of capping it. Because if they cap the tower, then you would get that notification in the top left-hand corner that your your tower, the enemy has captured the tower, or whatever it says, right? So now, I mean, honestly, if, if he's not paying attention, I'd just keep going. Cause you got this little. Uh, Back door ramp over here that you can get up here. This is the town center. That'd be the way to do it. Sneak on over here. See what you can do. I mean, it does seem like the Norse Expeditionary Faction is committing a lot of troops. I mean, we haven't seen his entire army, but still, it does seem like he is sending up a lot of troops to help uh, slow down this push. Thorax swords from Egypt getting caught, but they are winning, even though they are surrounded. <clears throat> I don't know why uh, Noso should be sending his guys on in. His Thorax hoplites aren't doing too great. They do get hoplite wall. They are an hop hoplite wall. Holy shit, that bumps up their melee defense to 97. I mean, I don't know what it is base without any chevrons, but with the chevrons... Ooh, gonna get a rear charge in. Will we get a rear charge, or are they gonna go through this gap over here? More Thorax Swords moving on up. Zero kills, so they definitely have their jabbies left. And they are close enough to use them. Shield Maidens, however, are going to take on this Thorax Sword unit. Yeah, they're starting to lose. Hopefully their numbers, 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 the numbers will drop soon. Numbers will drop quickly. Let's see what we have here for archers from Egypt. We have mercenary Cretan archers, basically is what they are. Uh, Toxites, and then the Nubian Bowmen as well. So they're gonna start to fire. Uh, range is 140 or 150, 150, so not bad. I mean, now might be the time to bring up bring up the ballista. I mean, get these generals right here. I, I mean, why not bring it up and just start like ramming shots down his, his throat. Down to 154 men, he is getting shot by the arrow tower. I guess he doesn't realize that that is happening. So if he leaves them there long enough, they'll be able to just go in and do some serious damage. Thorax or Cretan Hoplites moving on forward. Uh, and that's quite possibly what Samnium over here is doing. He's just waiting for the tower to do its work, and then he'll uh, move on in after uh, the tower has done all the heavy lifting. Here we go, we can see some Viking skirmishers. 32, 80 range as per usual. Uh, melee attacks, 18, weapon damage, 24, melee defense, 45, not bad for the, for the weapon damage, that, or melee defense, rather. Uh, armor, 70, holy shit, talk about tanky. So they can't dish out uh, too much damage in melee-wise, but they can definitely take it for sure. And over here still, it's just like they don't even think that... It, it just seems like he keeps committing forces over here, and he doesn't realize... I mean, did they forget that, that there is a fourth player on, on the field? I mean, maybe they think that he, he didn't bring a, a whole a 20 stack of units? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 49 kills from uh, Noso. Yeah, he's out of ammo. Not surprising. I mean, he's a little far back. 
Uh, but we are in here. Oh, sword herdsmen. Oh my god, they are getting eviscerated over here. By the slingers, too. 24, 34, and 32. Jeez. My god. My god. Alright, we can start to see some more units here. Joms Viking. Dorms Viking. More skirmishers, Truscan archers, what we have here, Truscan heavy hoplites, let's take a look at these guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then noble swords. And it just seems like he's not concerned about anything that's going on over here. The Donnie just keeps on sending in guys one at a time, and it's like he doesn't even notice. At this point, I don't know what he should do. Should he just charge in around the back and come back over here? Or, or should he, he slink on by? And, I, mean, I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, if anything... These, you know, like I said, these guys are hidden. They can't be seen. They did capture the tower over here. I don't know if I would have done that. I think leaving it neutral would have been a better idea. Because then they wouldn't have been wise to what's going on. If, he, if in fact he is not paying attention. And now you could just, hypothetically, I mean, go and scout. See what they have up here. You know? Or just filter in your guys as slowly as you can. And hope that they don't notice. And then when you go and press your attack up here, just charge. Charge, 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 charge. No! 29 minutes, 25 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that cool YouTube stuff. Helps out the channel. Of course, I appreciate it as well. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below for my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Uh... Don't use my Twitter as much as I probably should, and I don't get to stream as much as I should, but I hopefully will be starting again soon. And uh, I think maybe my birthday is coming up soon this month. I might do a, a birthday stream where we just play some uh, Rome 2. Quite possibly. Cretan archers up on the walls over here. Not a bad spot to be. Looks like they did get peppered down quite a bit by some archers themselves. But now, now more so even. They see the heavy bowmen. They have 73 kills. Are they out of ammo? No, they are not. I'm just like waiting for him to bring up his, his ballista. Because this will come in clutch. Especially up on over here when you're trying to, to push your way through this gap right here. You can either just shotgun shots and, and eviscerate uh, Etoria's uh, infantry. Or, or, if you want to get really spicy, you just knock down this wall. Knock it down. Create another problem for the defenders. I feel like nobody ever thinks of doing that. Over here in the front line, yeah, Amazonia is just about gone. They put up a good fight. Uh, archers, 55, 104, and 187. It's not bad. A heavy infantry moving on forward. They're going to take on these thrall action. Let's take a look at these guys, actually. Slice through Some uh, throwaway units. This guy looks super depressed at the thought of having to fight some very heavy infantry. <laughs> Let's take a look at their stats real quick 28, 26, 41 melee defense, and 40 armor. Not terrible. Oh no, they're throwing their jabbies at the fucking ballistic group. Oh, thank God, the Thrall Axemen are going to save them from wasting their javelins. <laughs> there they go, these guys are going to lose pretty quickly, I would imagine. But, I mean, they do have the Arrow Towers backing them up, so it'll help them out a little bit, but not enough to make too much of a difference. Oh, here we go. Did he notice, or was it them that went after it? Ambushes are winning, losing decisively for the Viking Raiders. I still don't know why they they have a debuff. There's nothing that says why they do. Uh, but here he goes. He's going to start to sneak on by. What do we got here? 
Hearth, hearth guard, hearth guard. 43, 40, 67, and 85 armor. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like he's gonna fall back. Or a uh, Etruscan. Uh, looks like, yeah, they might be falling back now. Might be time. They can't have too much left. I mean, the bounce power is in favor of the attackers, I think. I can't tell because it's, it's blue and, and red, not yellow and red. I think that, uh, he needs to change the, uh, the dots on the, um, on the mini-map, too. Uh, for the colors to be uh, adjusted accordingly. Uh, but yeah, I think the balance of power is definitely in the favor of the attackers. Uh, but the defenders have some pretty heavy World Thorax swords. 46, 40, 64, and 80. I mean, they have some pretty heavy hitting units left. They are falling back into the last spot. <coughs> Uh, but the problem here now too is you have three entrances that you have to you have to cover. Uh, sure, they'll be able to get shots off. Oh, they're gonna go hold this up. I don't think he realizes though that that's not the way that they're gonna be going. I mean, these guys are hidden. He's gonna need to run somebody over here quick. Stop. Thorax Sword's not having a great time over here. Nice to see that nothing has changed from vanilla Rome to modded Rome. Uh, and then these guys are free to move over here. Dacian Heavy Bowman, they're taking fire. 73 kills. Do they have ammo? They do. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? Get your archers out of there, dude. Fall them back. Otherwise, you're screwed. You're going to lose it. <laughs> you're definitely going to want them for later. All right, here comes a Ballista. Didn't come in over here, honestly, can't really blame him because this is kind of a sketchy situation with the arches right here. I'm gonna bring it in right over here. Probably, I would imagine he's gonna set up <coughs> like right here and then he's just gonna start lobbing shots. So hopefully we'll get some good shots off on the Etruscan Heavy Hoplites and even the Noble Swords. They're, they're setting up here pretty heavy. You guys forget that there's a back door over here? I mean, I know that we have the Royal Thorax Swords up here, but still. Um, oh, Noble Swords have gotten caught out. They're going to get absolutely water left out to dry these guys ain't gonna do too well anymore i mean they do have headhunt so they could you could pop that and just let them go and try and get as many kills as they can but i don't think they're uh, i think they're screwed <laughs> meanwhile over here he's just slowly moving along slowly move along neutralize this tower over here that's good uh and yeah these guys are just gonna keep on moving Probably gonna scout out, see if there's anybody up here. I mean, if, and if there is somebody guarding up here, that's fine. Just set your guys down right here. Leave them there. It's good to have placeholders to keep the enemy in place. There we go. Ooh, Hellenic Royal Guard. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, if there was ever uh, a barricade that you want to have, this is it. Especially since he doesn't have any archers over here. He didn't bring any archers, so he can't... He'll have to rely on Javis, mostly, to try and, and chip away at these guys. But, what's on the ground here? Oh, buckets. That's funny. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Because, I mean, as they're throwing their Javis, they could get shot at by these Cretans. They could get charged by the Royal Back Swords. You never know what's going to happen.
did Amazonia forget that he has some a unit back here? Or maybe they left. I hope not. No, they definitely could not have left. If they if they had quit, then the units would be doing some wonky ass shit. Where's the ballista? Wait, what? Why didn't you just go up the go up here? Maybe they couldn't actually. Maybe he couldn't get around the towers. I guess that's a possibility, right? All right, so he's gonna move up. Uh, maybe he is gonna knock down a section of the wall. I mean, that would be hilarious that I predicted that. And he has, uh, I mean, there's no kills. He, he has used some of the ammo to knock down that wall, obviously, but still. Uh, lots of shots being taken here. Oh, there it goes, yeah. There goes Cretans. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Are these guys out? No, they're not. I don't think I would have my slingers here. Because they're not going to... I mean, the slingers aren't going to get a good enough... You know, you can see it. They're, even, they're hitting the, the logs here. It's not worth it. You're just going to lose them. That's why I don't like slingers. Oh, that sucks. Don't get me wrong. Slingers can do a hell of a lot of damage, but... They're not good. Better for defense, not for attack. But he is! He's going to! Yes, fantastic. Love to see it. Knock down that wall, baby. Give him more problems to deal with. Amazonia and Abdani really pushing hard over here. Have managed to capture all the towers. Not making a move yet. But I mean, they definitely, Egypt has to know that they're over here. I mean, they captured this tower. It's not in their possession anymore, so the Hellenic World Guard General is definitely still sitting there. Full show. Amazonia, I don't think they have any ammo left, actually. 58, 110. If these guys are out of ammo, I will cry. Okay, they're not. These gals. The gals are out of ammo. I'll cry. Why do some of them have their spears out, though? Did she just vomit? <laughs> she totally just threw up. Oh, they are mixed in. Okay, that's fine. They are firing at these uh, heavy hoplites. We got some shield maidens moving on in. Hopefully they'll do some pretty decent damage. Meanwhile, back way over here. There goes the wall. Wall's about to fall down. Got some... Uh, oh, yes. Please. Please put your men up on the wall. Please put your men up on the wall. Please. Please. Don't tell me you're out of ammo. No, you're not. Come on. Fire! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Oh, look at this. They burned down both the towers. Or no, there's just one over here. Shoot. I'm getting his general set up so he can charge right on in. Oh, he's turning around. Where are you going? Stop it. Do Don't do that. Knock the wall down. Wait, what's going on here? Why did he select an attack order after these thorax tools? Green hoplite's moving on up. I'm going to take some jabby fire. That's all right, though. They are in hoplite wall. moving his ballista. And did Amazon? No. I guess they forgot about this unit. It sucks, because they could definitely use it right now. But here we go. Big on fight. Big on. Big on. Big on. Big on fight. Big on fight happening here now. Watch. Uh -huh. Man. What are you... What's Amazonia doing? I can understand, like, wanting to jabate them and get them to use their jabbies, but... Charging right on in, and these guys are going to be done for, like, any second. Gone. We have here, Cretans, Cretans, Arthgard. Looks like he's going to start to move up some of his ambushers. Hopefully they still have jabbies. Looks like they probably do. 
Uh, hopefully they don't get shot. And he can just get some jabby shots off. Oh, really? He charged out. Alright. What is he, Etruscan General? Nine kills. Italian Slingers. I mean, these guys are done for. Maybe they were out of ammo. Probably not, though, but... Now Nosos is moving on forward. He's gonna cut off these Thorax Swords. Um, damn, man. 224 kills. Jeez, damn. Nice job. Uh, bounce powers. I, it's still it's still in the favor of the attackers, but not not so much. I mean, the defenders have quite a bit left. All things considered. Uh, I mean, they're in a good position, right? <clears throat> they're in a good position because they have... Oh, were they not in pike formation? Uh, but in any event, I mean, they're just getting eviscerated over here by these guys. Really, really eating a lot of jabbies to the face. Down to 122 guys already. Then he has another unit, or another two units moving on, on up here who definitely have plenty of jabbies left. <clears throat> These guys are taking fire, but they are laying down, uh, just turning these hop or hop lights, these bike minutes and vocal mines. Take a look. Take a look. Bring us closer. Bring us closer. Yeah, they would would have been able to take those guys off way easy. World Thorax Swords moving on forward. Meanwhile, over here, men of Amazonia having a little bit of a difficult time. Not really surprised. Take Spear Unit? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you should have them in Hoplite Wall. But Fiana moving on in. These guys should hopefully turn, help turn the tide over here. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. 27 kills from Viking Skirmishers. And now he's... Oh, this guy's going nuts. Very, very close. 147 kills. They might be out of ammo, actually. They are... No, they're not. They could switch the fire shot and take care of his ballista crew. Uh, if he was paying attention, but I, his attention must be elsewhere at the moment. So this wall's gonna... Oh, no. <laughs> he's gotta be careful, though. Look. <laughs> Look. He's not paying attention. What are you doing? Look. Sorry, I'm eating a pretzel. Keep in mind that when you are manually firing your artillery, that you can hit page up and page down to cycle between each artillery piece. Maybe he didn't realize or know that, but uh, yeah, this, that, that was painful. That was painful. He just wasted some ammo. And uh, yeah. Orders understood! archers look like they're out of ammo too. No, they still have ammo. I, again, I don't understand. I mean, why not get them over here, use fire shot, and start getting rid of these ballistas? Then you won't have to worry about it anymore. I don't know what's going on here. Very fishy. It looks like he's trying to do something with the ballista. I just don't know what. These guys are just holding on for dear life, trying to hold these guys back. Are you going to start the shotgun? I mean, that would be, like, the best thing to do. What is going on here? Oh, look at this. They're setting up a nice little kill box here. Looks like they're hoping that, uh... The Viking Expedition Forces will charge forward. If these guys can't be out of ammo, please... Bro, this is painful to watch. Oh my god. S stop firing. Pull your pull your ballista back, please. Please, pull it back right here. Because you are not helping your cause. 
Please do not fire again. My God. Italian Nova. I want to see these guys in action in the worst way, dude. I want to see them mess some shit up. 79 melee attack. That's just totally poggers to me. <laughs> I promise I'll never say that again. No, I can't promise that. Thorax Swords over here are just kind of chilling out. They're not really doing anything. What's going on here? What's happening? There you go. There you go. Get your gun. No, what are you doing? What is going on here? You definitely still have ammo. What? Are you actually out of ammo? I'm so confused. What is going on? It, I, is everyone just smashing their face into the keyboard and mouse? He's just turning into a, a a mosh pit over here. Double swords doing good. They're, they're winning besides like what is the ballista crew? What are you doing in combat? He must have got he must have touched someone. And that's why they got off the the, the uh, ballista. Oh man, that's I'm I'm going over here. That was painful to watch. Meanwhile, over here, Abdani is doing a hell of a job of keeping the Viking expeditionary forces occupied while dealing with the Toria as well. Or Etruscan. Yeah, Toria. Right? You could say Etoria. Uh, the Etruscan League. Who just routed? Uh, the Noble Sword? No, Thorax Sword, I think, right? Yeah. Big charge for the Italian Noble Cab. See that number go up. 26, 27, 28, 29. So they're getting there. By your command. But like, what is going on here? I just, I need to know that. Like, they could put fire shot on and maybe shoot at Knossos' general, and they might get a rogue arrow that hits these. I mean, these guys could charge forward. And, or at least the skirmishers could charge forward and get at the ballista crew. Oh man, opportunities lost. Now they now they can't do anything. <laughs> Thor, top like general, is moving forward. I think the defenders are going to win this one, especially if this is a 60-minute long battle. That means it goes to the end of time, so. Good back and forth, though. Very good back and forth. The attackers definitely had it in the beginning. I mean, it was, it was a tough fight to get to where they are now. But I think the defenders have too many high tier units left for them to be able to actually uh, get past them. I mean, especially since uh, Sam Knight's ballista crew is just, I don't know, they're hitting a bottle somewhere. And they're going to attack. Dude, there's no way that they're out of ammo. I can't believe that. Maybe they are out of ammo and I'm just wrong, but... Even still, Lennox Royal Guard have moved away. Definitely don't want to get jabbed anymore. There's only 112 guys left, no kills. Uh, and now the Royal Thorax Swords have taken up arms over here. In shield wall formation, so they will protect them a little bit from the jabbies, but who knows? Honestly, they'd be good for them to turn around and char uh, chase after the general. They, if, if the Etruscan heavy hoplites had turned around sooner, they would have been able to catch him, and then they probably would have been in some serious trouble. Uh, but they're just trying to fall back as quickly as they can now. 
Thorax Royal Guard or a Royal Thorax Swordsman catching some of these ambushes out. I mean, still has two units over here, but I don't think it's going to do much. Oh, did he lose his two other fittest swordsmen? No way, dude. Only 54 kills. Down to 59 men. Woo, boy. And there goes Etruscan's, uh, or Sam Knight's general. There's no way he's he's going to get out of this. There's no way that he is getting out of this alive. He needs to pull back. Like, get out of here, dude. What are you doing here, bro? Battle Rhythm's not going to help you against five units. Amazonia's other unit. Did they move? Did they? Maybe he left? Or no, they routed. Yeah, they routed. We'll be kidding. Uh, who do we have way over yonder? Wow, it's his ballista crew. Alright, so. I mean, I, I don't know what he's doing. Because he has these units here. Like, you could bring them in. They're not going to be the great help, but you could still use them. I'm starting to wonder if he just. if, if he left. 167 kills, holy shit, dude. That's actually impressive. That they managed to do that much damage. Thorax Hoplite's taking on the Hearthguard General from the uh, Norse Expeditionary Force. Again, they're all, they're debuffed too. Why are they debuffed? I don't understand. They're gonna start to pull away. Italian, Italian noble cab is definitely getting beat up. 33 guys left. Start, no, so he's trying to push on through here, but. Let it go, guards, no joke, man. That's a serious pike unit. Tough nut to crack. Tough nut to crack. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the beginning of the end. Defenders put up a hell of a fight, not letting them take a, any type of a step forward. And if they did let them take a step forward, they made them pay for it heavily before they let them step forward. I just don't know why. I mean, he has slingers here. He could have brought his slingers up and used them against the Hellenic Royal Guard. Does he still have ammo? No, he doesn't. Never mind. Only 76 kills. Peace. But, I mean, like, look, he is an 88 man unit, 95 man unit. I mean, these guys are all depleted severely, but even still, I mean, 52, 48, 16. Do those numbers together, uh, added together, and that's, you know, like a 100 man unit. What are you doing? Don't do this. Don't charge. Don't charge over here. Don't do that. If he charges, then I'm, oh, I will be 100% convinced that the computer is taking over. And that's why they're doing silly stuff like this. Unless he's coming over here to buff these guys. My guy. Are you just trying to throw your jabs? He's gonna bring his artillery crew over here. Time. Yep, noble swords moving forward. Gonna catch them out. I mean, the pikes should move forward too at this point. Move the pikes forward and just really go to town on the on the cab. Get rid of them. This is over. Royal Thorax swords shredding these ambushers. Up to 205 kills. Love to see it. 83 for the Lenic World Guard. 171 for the noble swords. 88 for the Hearth Guard. 84 for the Etruscan Heavy Hoplites. Rough. Etruscan Cohort is getting shot, but I mean... I guess he doesn't realize that he could rear charge some of these units over here. Damn, my general done for. Yeah, he's just dead. Oh boy, this is over. Lots of Samnium troops starting to waver.
not good. I think it, I think it was a mistake for him to stop firing at this wall. I mean, it was at 73%, and then he came over here to start hitting this wall. I mean, look, if you're going to use, if you're going to bring movable artillery, and you have the thought process of, I'm going to try and either capture the gates or knock down a section of the wall here, and then get my artillery on the inside, you have to have a clear-cut plan of, I'm going to use it to knock down a wall, because we all know that this takes not a significant amount of ammo, but quite a bit, or I'm going to use it as an anti-infantry implement. And I think the way that they were all bunched up here, just sitting and waiting for somebody to attack, I think it would have been better if he had just sat back and lob shots and forced them to fall back. But here we are. And still, I mean, like, I don't know, like, why he's not using any of these units. Like, I mean, maybe he's a newer player. I'm not sure. Uh, it's quite possible. 46 seconds left. I'm actually going to just fast forward with this because uh, we pretty much know what's going to happen here. Uh, I mean, maybe the, maybe the semi-player is newer, uh, but yeah, in, in any event, he could have done better. I'm not saying he did terrible, because he did do a very good job of making that breach, punching a hole through to allow Nosos to get in and around, especially since I think he forgot his siege equipment. It does happen to the best of us. But uh, in any event, all right. Emperor Candy Kotsu getting the most out of everybody here. I'd love to see it. 2,668 uh, kills, 116 for a general, 49 for the ballista, 83, 149, 106, and 249. Wow. For the Cretans, uh, 159 and 173 for the Cretan hoplites, 94, 180, uh, 49, 144, 141, 111, 136, and 19 for the Cretan infantry, and then the thorax hoplites. 150, 255, 249, 82, and 118. Uh, oh no, he's definitely not new. Uh, so I don't know what happened then. Uh, 1,938 kills for Gorm Molnir. Uh, yeah, what happened? Uh, 190 for his general, not bad. 13 for the for the ballista. I don't. Whatever. Uh, 38, 68, 47, 76. Uh, 123 for the uh, Sandmite Silver Infantryman. 104 for the Hypernian Warriors, uh, 89 for the Lucanian Warriors, 65 for the Samnite Light Infantry, uh, 86, 197, 291. So these guys are pretty good. Uh, Samnite Warriors, 172, 94, 119, 130, and then the Samnite Hillmen, uh, 12 and 36. What are they? Dual wield spears. That's pretty cool. Armored Scarab getting 1,062 kills. 122 for the Finna General. Uh, 144, 147 for the two other Finna units. He did have. Are these ranged units? But it didn't look like it. That's weird. Okay. Anyway. Uh, ambushers 37, 46, 56, 31, 140. Uh, Adani Raiders, 19, 38, 13, and 78. Uh, Woodrunners, 6, 9, 52, 43, 31, 46. And then Tribal Warriors, 4 and 0. Dagger getting 2,065 kills. 268 for his gen, not bad. 192, 178, 58, and 152 for the Amazonian Heavy Archers. Amazonian Infantry, 132, 107, 24, 92. Uh, and then the Elite Shield Maidens, 107 and 63. And then Shield Maidens, 93, 302, 10, 95, 75, and 117. Joe Onnit getting 1,970, or 1,967 kills. 107 for his general. Chariots only getting 33. I mean, they got obliterated. We saw that in the beginning. They just took a face full of jabbies, and then they disappeared pretty quickly. Uh, 240 and 220 for the Mercenary Cretans, 90 for the Nubian Bowmen, 65, 67 for the Egyptian Levy, 73 and 28 for the Galatian Swords, 276 for the Royal Thorax Swordsman, so well done there, and then 111, 172, 297, shit, that's a good-ass number for a Thorax Swords, that's for sure, 51 and 137. Uh, Darsman, uh, Uppa is the clan name, it appears, 1,600... 46 kills, 177 for the Noble Sword General, 93 and 98 for the two other Noble Swords, 
74, 92, 251, not bad. And oh God, and one, that hurts. Four is Archers. 38, 80, and 33 for the Falksman. 99 for the Mercenary Axe Warriors. I actually didn't see them on the, see them anywhere. Uh, 132, 49, 66. 74, 71, 109, and 103 for the Secret Warriors, and then 6 for the Spears. Canadian Goose getting 2,411 kills. 103 for the General, 160 for the other Etruscan Heavy Hoplite. 177, 147, 35, 168 for the Etruscan Archers. One, or 316, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> 270, one beer uh, for the Etruscan Cohort. <laughs> Uh, Etruscan Manipular Infantry, 97, 99, 83, 363. Italian Swords, 161, 80, and 100. I, it, it actually makes me feel better for Italian Swords to see numbers like these because they got, it seems like they got some love in this mod because in Vanilla Rome, Italian Swords are such trash. It's not even funny. Uh, and then the Reservists, 40 and 12. And then Enora is getting 2,138 kills. 152 for the Hearthguard General. 70, 120, and 44 for the Vikings Numbers, 245, 221 for the Jarms Viking, uh, 33, 96, and 125 for the Sword Herdman, 97 for the Thrall Axemen, 10 for the Ufskarls, uh, I think we saw them in like the end, Viking Berserkers, I thought we had more Berserkers actually, 253, not bad, and then the Viking Raiders, 159, 207, uh, 111, and 195, so that's going to be it. For today, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a really good one, actually. Lots of fun to watch. Uh, always enjoy covering modded stuff just because we get to see some new units uh, and then also the design for those units, too. I mean, they usually look pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Well, with that being said, guys, have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, while you're watching. Just have a good one. Peace out, guys.